idea of this project is a very, very, very interesting, very unique combination of different concepts, uh, architecture, uh, culture, uh, and uh, uh, arts, and everything together, and uh, we uh, decided to support uh, this idea, which came up in very, very interesting, uh, very interesting collaboration between Italy and Russia in the future, and so we think that it's a very important uh, project to be supported, and I hope you can enjoy it. Uh, Dicevo che noi lavoriamo molto da tanti anni, da 51 anni esiste la Camera di Commercio Italo-Russa dal 64 e abbiamo lavorato molto spesso con architetti russi perché organizziamo delegazioni alle fiere, missioni, però è la prima volta che supportiamo un tipo di, eh, di fiera, di, di, fiera scusatemi, di mostra del genere che è particolarmente innovativa e particolarmente interessante. Siamo molto onorati di... Eh, di, di fare questo e, e vorremmo collaborare anche con voi nel futuro e anche a Milano. Noi Khatide Bouchot Satrudnici s vami su Milano. Sì, Khatide Bouchot Konstantina Koikina, Moscovska Targova Palata. Grazie, tutti per il progetto. Grazie a tutti per il suo progetto. У нас в последнее время, последние два года очень хорошо и эффективно складываются отношения с Италией. И вот этот проект, он особенный. Мы говорим о том, о 25-летнем вкладе Ленты и лично Андреаса Кипара в развитие зеленого пояса, зеленых лучей в Милане. Я знаю о том, что Андреас предлагает развивать набережные Москвы, потому что это такая важная артерия. Москва-река это, ну, в отличие, в Милане нет реки, но на Вилье и Дарсена вот чуть-чуть добавили воды, и из Брера люди перешли все туда. Да? А в Москве есть огромная артерия, которая на сегодняшний день не используется. Идея Андреаса заключается в том, что необходимо развивать зеленые лучи вот в этом направлении. Мы, как палата, поддерживаем и будем поддерживать это направление. Нам это нравится, мы считаем это очень полезным для города. И также я хотел анонсировать, что в октябре, 15 октября 2015 года на выставке «Экспо» в Милане будет проходить, будут проходить Дни Москвы, будет официальная делегация, и там будет секция, посвященная архитектуре. И будут присутствовать топовые фирмы, топовые организации из Италии, и мы приглашаем также наших участников, чтобы показать московские возможности. нашей, можно сказать, такой дружбы. Оказалось, что Андреас выиграл здесь конкурс московский и открыл здесь офис. После этого, в общем, достаточно часто начали встречаться, и вы можете увидеть результаты, собственно говоря, моей вот личной работы с Андреасом. Это предложение к журналу «Проект Россия» с двумя конкурсами, которые выиграл Бюро Ленд. Это МФЦ, Международный финансовый центр, и Ходынка парк. Это два больших проекта, которые сейчас как называется прогресс. А, ну теперь я все-таки хочу, чтобы Андреас рассказал побольше про эту выставку. Вот. И про свою работу. Twenty-five, twenty-five years working together, twenty-five years cultivating, twenty-five years hard work in relationship from South Italy, Lampedusa, you know very well, Lampedusa, until North Italy, and twenty-five masterpieces. Landschaft needs communication, so Landschaft needs Julia. Julia, we are immediately, ex. let me say immediately, thank you, because you are real power uh, in our exhibition and we want to cultivate it in the future more and more because we are only gardener, we are only architects, we are only landscape architects, agronomists, we are artists. But what we need more and more is communication, that landscape is something more than the result of addition of a few things. And after Milan, we bring our expertise to Rome with Archipelago Verde, and now we complete it there with a new studio of AS Roma. And it's a strategy, and it's a step-by-step -step strategy. 
you can do everything, but do it by thinking in a big scale. It's a really a great pleasure to, to be here. It's my first time in Moscow, and um, uh, I'm really excited to be here in the homeland of one of my favorite writers, which is Dostoevsky. And um, uh, his, his quotes, uh, beautiful stuff, the word, are really uh, inspiring for us. So, what is more beautiful than nature and art together? Uh, more about a thought, a message, a philosophy, and uh, for this reason, it may grow and touch different form of art uh, to increase people's awareness and make humans reconsider vegetable beings as an example of balance, evolutionary flexibility, and social vision. And this is why we put together this uh, artistic project with an uh, operative project uh, by, by land. Uh, in 2014, we uh, asked uh, uh, to 100 artists uh, belonging to uh, 42 different countries uh, to express their uh, elective af affinities with nature, and uh, in particular with some special kind of plants. And we collected a wide range of different artworks. Uh, and uh, here in Moscow, you will see a selection of 12 uh, different uh, pieces of art. And what, what is really... Uh, interesting is that we make we try to um, put together the art and the technology so uh, if you come inside you can download the app that we build um, right for this uh, for this exhibition and uh, you will uh, follow the all the exhibition path with some different uh, uh, multimedia um, examples or materials so I invite you to, to download the app because uh, it's really something that can uh, um, can go inside the, the artist's poetry and uh, the art itself. Let's take a deep breath like this and let's think who are that um, let us breathe in this manner. And the answer is really simple, our plans. You are all professional, and I invite you to, to think about plans when you make a business plan, when you make project, when you make uh, your work uh, every day. It's really important. We never think about plans. They can survive, survive without us. We cannot survive without them. So yeah, We really can change our way of life. And I think uh, that uh, Moscow still have uh, a lot to do. Uh, we have seen many interesting projects. There are hundreds of projects that can be done, but we don't have to forget this statement. Our landscape has to be diverse.